All right, Rory here with the FarmBot project. A little update uh, regarding the universal tool mounting system. So this was version four, uh, universal tool mount. So over here we had uh, the tool mount itself, which mounted with these two holes here onto the, the Z-axis aluminum extrusion. And then what we had was these four screws, um, or, or four holes that would have screws in them to pass electrical power and data through from the, the tool mount to the tool. And so you can see uh, that those uh, are aligned, the different uh, formations. Now what was interesting about this design was we had uh, down here a neodymium magnet held in. Um, and then these screws around the perimeter were, were going to have springs, so that they'd be spring-loaded and would depress um, when, the, when the tool went into the mount. Uh, and on the receiving end, on the tool, there was also a magnet and then the four screws, which would just pass power or data to whatever uh, electronics were down below. So the way this worked, it, it worked pretty well. Um, essentially, the, the ZX would come down and suction up or magnetically attract the tool into place. And then the uh, screws themselves would act as the keyway um, to prevent rotation of, to some extent. Um, so it worked pretty well. Uh, super easy to attract on and off the tools, just like that. Uh, pretty easy to remove the tool using uh, a little bracket that would go into the groove right here and hold the tool in place while the Z-axis lifted up. So pretty neat design. Uh, what it was lacking was the ability to pass power, or sorry, not power, uh, water or air. You know, we were passing electrical power but, and data, but there was no way to pass power or water or air. Uh, so that was something that we wanted in order to uh, make the universal tool mount uh, more universal, essentially being able to accept more tools, a greater variety of tools. So here's version five uh, of the universal tool mount. So this is still a uh, 3D printed part. Um, it was produced with the same machine as version four parts, a fused deposition modeling uh, 3D printer, RepRap. So this was all 3D printed, it's one piece. And you can see we have changed the orientation around a bit. So instead of having a single centralized magnet as with over here, uh, and then screws around the, around the perimeter, we have three magnets around the perimeter. So that does a couple of things. First, um, that allows us to uh, have more uh, torque resistance. So a problem with this one was that it goes in there fine, but it was pretty easy for the, the tool to get torqued out like that. Um, it really only had axial pull force. In this design, uh, and here's a tool with some magnets, They're, some of them are taped up right now. Um, because there's, there's three contact points of the magnets, it, it's much more uh, resistant to being torqued out. So that's a better design in that regard. Uh, the second reason why we, we did that is, is these magnets are actually glued in. And you can see in the top right one, you can see all the way through right, right here. Um, and so that's because these magnets are the portals to pass the power, or sorry, not the power, the water and the compressed air and also liquid amendments through from the tool mount into the tool uh, if the tool requires it. So for instance, this is the seed injector. So it has a, a small tip over here that would uh, presumably suck up a single seed and then go over to the right spot and deposit it in the ground, cut the vacuum, and then move on. Uh, and the way this works, and the reason why these are taped up right now, is that the vacuum pump is not located in this tool. The vacuum pump is actually going to be on either the Z-axis or the gantry somewhere on the, on the farm bot. And then we simply just suck the air through here, um, which, which come through in this case. Let's get this on here. Woo! Through the other side to this barb. Um, and that barb, let's see, can we focus this? No, I can't. That's all right. Uh, this barb, then we can put a, a flexible tubing on, um, which could then go to something like this vacuum pump right here. So this is a, a cheap or inexpensive vacuum pump from, uh, I believe, SparkFun. It's a little 12-volt vacuum pump that we could have somewhere on the gantry and we could essentially power any sort of tool that requires um, vacuuming force.
So that's really neat in the way that that works. Get this off of here so you can see that it, the three magnets go on there quite nicely, uh, hold the tool on very well. In fact, it might be too, too much, so there might be too much force holding it on. You can see that it has quite the tendency to sort of latch on really hard, and it's actually, you almost have to torque it off. Um, there's really no way to get it off otherwise, and so that might be a problem. The Z-axis might not be able to pull with that much force. So I think what we're going to do in the next iteration is have th the three magnets here and then just washers on the tool. So the washers will still be magnetically attracted, but they won't have their own magnetic um, force. So it'll be, it'll be much easier to pull the tool off. So then you can see uh, we still have the four screws. Uh, these screws are actually a little bit too small right now. The, the diameter is supposed to be an M5. These are M3. But you can see that they are on springs so that when the tool would uh, come onto the mate with the tool mount, it would depress these and make that nice electrical connection. So we'd have ground in the center, one of these for 5 volt power from the Arduino and then two of them uh, for data, either sending a signal or receiving one. Um, and then on the other side, uh, it'd just be um, little crimps to attach, to attach the wires to. So this is really neat. Uh, the, the, new, the new universal tool mount essentially can do a lot of different things. It can pass power and data through and also water, air, and um, liquid amendments of some sort. So we're really excited about this one, um, and we'll send out an update pretty soon of this in action on the bot itself. Um, yeah, there we go. Some more parts over there. Pretty exciting.